my dear friends in jesus christ in today's gospel passage jesus uses the word all three times which suggests a sense of completion three being a whole number in traditional biblical numerals firstly jesus told the disciples that all the authority is given to him secondly jesus wants his disciples to go and make disciples of all nations thirdly jesus advises them to teach others all the commandments which he himself taught having said that jesus also gives them a promise of completion namely that he will be with them always till the end of time we are aware that god is completion of everything Jesus the incarnated God presented himself to people as the complete truth the complete way and the complete life he is also the complete authority he wants this truth and the way of life to be made known in the whole world completely all his followers should know the complete truth not just a half of it or a part of it Understanding Jesus means knowing the complete truth and doing what he wants us to do which will eventually be our salvation. As Saint Paul writes in his letter to the Romans, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. What Jesus asked and commanded is to cause this salvation to be given to the whole world the question remains have we done that yet as we consider the completion referred to in today's gospel in the same scripture passage we come across certain incomplete or unclear points the number of disciples who came to the mountain is 11 It is not 12. 11 is not a complete number in the biblical context. Then again, when the disciples saw Jesus, they worshipped him, yet some of them doubted. Do you think that Jesus did not realize that the closest and most trusted of his disciples were uncertain or did not believe in their hearts? We are also aware throughout the gospels when he sensed a doubt or a concern in the minds of the people around him jesus addressed the issue and then resolved it however in this instance jesus allowed it and did not address it either therefore jesus accepted the incomplete number and the weak human nature of his disciples at the very beginning of the mission he entrusted to them dear friends all of us who are called to be followers of jesus are also called to be disciples in our own way in our own little world despite our human limitations and the many doubts we are assailed with we are called upon to believe in him and claim that he is indeed risen and that he is lord our human abilities and potentials which are limited because of our individual weaknesses are presently further restricted due to the special situation we have been compelled into however we are called upon to bear witness to Jesus in our world for as saint paul writes in romans chapter 14 verse 9 if we live we live for the lord and if we die we die for the lord therefore whether we live or die we belong to the lord We never need to be afraid or anxious for Jesus gave us his promise to be with us always. Yes, his spirit is with us and within us, leading us and guiding us, but only if we allow him to be with us. 
In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 Jesus tells us be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect and we ask ourselves what is this perfection that Jesus expects from us this was said in relation to his teachings about forgiving one another one very good reason why we must forgive others for their mistakes is because we ourselves are human beings who are weak and incomplete by forgiving others we have the ability to be perfect just like God who forgives our sins forgiving one another is one of the best ways to bear witness to the risen Lord and to reveal to the world that we are followers of Jesus who forgave even those who put him to death. So, let us not be discouraged that we are not complete or have not accomplished our mission yet. Let us strive to do whatever we can for the Lord and to live our Christian life as best we can. The Lord is the perfection and the completion and he is well aware of our imperfections and limitedness. Therefore, all what Jesus expects from us is that we sincerely try our best to be like him. Amen.